Hello again, I'm Bob Colt. We're continuing our conversations in Charlotte Public Schools and we're talking today about the Middle School Honors Society and we have uh, Brianna DeCare and we've got Olivia Bruce, a student. And uh, Brianna, tell us a little bit about the program. Um, well, the program focuses on all around scholarship, community service, citizenship, character of students and so students are selected based on that and they have to maintain a certain level of academics and scholarship and um, citizenship participation in the community. And one of those honors students is sitting right next yes. to you. So uh, Olivia, tell us a little bit about uh, what makes a good honor student. What do you have to do? What do you think about? Um, you have to have good citizenship and you have to be good in school. Obviously you can't really, you can't get bad grades or um, not do, like, I guess, not, not behave. <laughs> so, so you really are focused on getting good grades yes. and doing your, your work uh, for school and everything, but also the citizenship component is probably something that a lot of people don't think about. Tell me a little bit more about it. Um, you have to do community service hours. You have to get 10 hours within the year that you are in it. And then um, you have to have three events and at school or away. And we went in Misty Care's room a couple of times and made cards for the military people and sent them overseas for Christmas. And then another time we made Christmas cards for the elderly people at the medical care facility. That's great. So. And Brianna, you're kind of new to this program. Yes. yes. And so how did you... How did this opportunity come up for you, and, and why did you embrace this Honor Society Challenge? Um, well, I'm new to the school this year, and I was in the Honor Society myself in middle school and high school, and I definitely saw the benefit of being in the Honor Society, and I thought that it would be a great program to participate in. So what kind of student is an Honor Society student? Um, they're just an all-around, um, very productive a positive student. They, um, like I said, maintain academically. They also provide community service. And another thing is that they, um, many are involved in extracurricular activities, so they're able to balance all of those things. Yes, yeah, so these are very active students. Yes. And, and uh, it's really a mark of distinction to be in the Honor Society, isn't it? Definitely. Talk a little bit about that. Why, why would someone want, why would a student want to do that? Um, well, it looks good on your college resume. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's also fun. I like it. You get to do um, different things that the other kids that aren't in it don't. Like, you can go in at lunchtime and do, like, make cards, or you can, we have meetings at lunchtime, so it just gives us a chance to talk sometimes. It's, yeah. it's a, a social time as much as it is an activity time sometimes. Yeah. And so what's coming up? What are you planning in the future for the Honor Society? Um, well, we have Teacher Appreciation Day that we'll be discussing in our next meeting. Um, we also have raised funds through our school dance that we hosted for Valentine's Day. And we'll be deciding how to use that money within the community, um, maybe a charity or some kind of um, organization that the students want to donate that money to. So that's great. You're actually sharing values of philanthropy and young people are learning how to raise money and give it to yes. worthy organizations. And so what happens here? Do, um, do the students bring those organizations to you or you solicit those organizations or how does that work? Well, our last meeting I told them, you know, start thinking of some ideas, maybe some charities that mean something to you and then we'll put them all together and we'll vote on them and the one that wins out will be the one that gets our, our donation. So Olivia, who are you voting for, do you know? Um, no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. So, um, uh, Olivia, why, why do you think that um, middle school students are attracted to the Honor Society? Um, I guess it gets you prepared for the high school. <laughs> Honor Society, which I think is more of a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's something to um, really get involved with in a first step and um, kind of create a community of Honor students while in middle school before moving on. And so what do you hope that the students uh, accomplish 
this year. You've, they've probably already done a lot, mm -hmm. but there's more to do before school ends in June. Um, well, I think just um, creating and fostering these beliefs and the selflessness that the students already come with, but also maintaining it, I think is really important. And they um, get that reward out of, out of helping others and seeing, um, I guess, the, the fruits of their labor. And so... And it's got to be fun, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's nice to see the students um, outside of an academic perspective as well. Um, helping out, just getting to work with them without the academic portion. Yeah, but the, and these students really are academic achievers, mm -hmm. which is why they're there. But you, what you do is you try to get them involved in many other things to yes. broaden the horizon of young students. And and so, uh, why do you like Charlotte? Have you thought about that? What what is it about Charlotte schools that you like, Olivia? Well, I've been here yeah. <laughs> since preschool. So you're experienced. <laughs> um, it's just, um, I have friends here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like all the teachers, never had a bad teacher. And, and what do you think about um, in going to high school? Because you're already thinking about it now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And the kind of classes you're taking, and uh, you seem to be a, a young person who's even thinking about college, because I heard you mention it. Definitely. And so what are you thinking? Um, I don't know. I'm excited, but kind of nervous for high school, I guess. Um, you got to get, well, I want to maintain my three point or four point average, so got to get all of those tests, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of nerve wracking. And do you, what kind of advice do you give to young people to study to maintain that kind of high grade point average. Do you do that? Do you, do you give other students advice? Sometimes. I sometimes help them study, but not all the time. Yeah. And, and so, uh, Brianna, how do you think, I mean, it, you're new to this honor society. What do you hope that it kind of becomes in the future? Um, I would just like to see more community service um, maybe next year. Um, starting off at the very beginning, having organized community service events, and that way, um, things that students can can participate a little bit more with that. Um, just, I guess, getting the community aware of what honor society is and the good that the students are are doing with it. And you said you were an honor society yes. student. Think back now uh, on your experience. What do you think you really gained? Um, it was just really rewarding. Um, I worked with a special needs student. Um, I was m mentoring, and I think it was just very rewarding. I continued doing um, the community service even after the requirements because I just I liked it so much. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's something that students maybe don't realize until they are able to give to the community. And so you're a teacher, mm -hmm. obviously, it, also in Charlotte. Talk about your teaching role and how Honor Society kind of... Uh, coincides with that? Um, well, like I said, I think it gives you the opportunity to get to know your students inside and outside of the classroom. Um, and I think that it uh, you can kind of reassure and talk about it even in class, saying, okay, you know, if you're in on society, you, you know, have to maintain a three on this. And so you can kind of encourage them and use honor society as that, you know, in the back of their mind to encourage them to do well as well. Yeah. So what are the characteristics of an honor society student? What kind of things do you see? Um, I, like I said, it's an overall well-rounded student. Um, they achieve academically. Several of them are in extracurricular activities. Um, they participate even before coming into Honor Society, there's an activity log that students fill out. Um, and sometimes the, there aren't enough lines for students to put down what they're involved in. So I think even coming into Honor Society, these students um, have a pretty good idea of what it takes to be a well-rounded citizen. And Olivia, have you thought about what you uh, might want to use all of the education in Charlotte for? Do you think about what kind of job you'll get in the future or what you want to do when you get older? I want to be an anesthesiologist. Because? I like the medical field. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so. great. And it's certainly a field that needs a lot of smart young people who <laughs> who want to work in it. What What is it that would attract you to that kind of job? Um, I really like math and science. 
So I did a little research, and you need a lot of that <laughs> in that paint. Yeah. <laughs> so. And is maintaining a good grade point level hard? Have you found it a difficult thing to do? Not really. If you apply yourself, no. And and so do you have like a kind of a study uh, regimen that you would uh, share with other people? What do you do to be successful? Um, really just pay attention in class and do all your homework. Yeah. And and so um, do, do you spend a lot of time doing homework? Mm -hmm. I do extra work at home. So. so a couple hours a night or how much extra time do you usually put in? Half hour to an hour every night. Yeah. So just a little bit. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have to be a lot of time, does it? No. Nope. You just have to focus that time on doing, studying the right things. And so what areas, uh, obviously you mentioned the medical field, but what areas of school do you like the best? Um, I like everything. <laughs> Science, math, language arts, band. <laughs> yeah. So. And so are most of your friends also involved in those things? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's great. And, and uh, Brianna, what's the what's the predictor for an honor society student? Do they can you really predict that they'll move on to college and and uh, achieve in other educational levels? Um, I think that you can you can see that those values, um, the citizenship, is already instilled in the student, um, and I think it just allows them to grow. And you can definitely um, see the students that are driven and stay focused and they want, they already have their, their, uh, their future kind of planned out in their head and so they know what it takes to get that. Yeah, it is kind of interesting that you're thinking about that. Even at the middle school level, future, do you, do you think that's one of the things that makes a successful honor society student? Yeah, definitely. Somebody that um, acknowledges the good that comes out of um, maintaining your grades maintaining um, good citizenship and community service, definitely. Yeah, and school actually is kind of easy for you, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. It is kind of easy because, um, but you're still learning a lot here. You've, there are a lot of things to study and, and opportunities. Talk a little bit more about the social aspect of when you get together with other students in the Honor Society. Um, we talk about well, if we're at meetings, then we talk about whatever the meeting is about, but um, we'll just chat, schoolwork sometimes, homework help, we'll help each other out with homework. Um, and these are friends that you'll probably have for life, right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so, Brianna, why, why would you uh, challenge a young person to be in the honor society? What do you think they really get? You know, obviously you, you have some things that you expect, but what do they really get as a payout for being an Honor Society person? Um, well, I think that a lot of students maybe because of Honor Society, they might seek out to perform community service, and I think that definitely might be something that they maybe had never thought about before. Um, so getting them involved in the community, um, and then also um, keeping up with their academics, I think that's definitely really important. Um, well, great. Well, thank you both for sharing some information about the Middle School Honor Society. We have uh, Brianna DeCare and Olivia Bruce. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Bob Colton. We'll continue our conversations in Charlotte Public Schools.